Jim Hendrick and Dick Crippen, along with Mark Spencer, back here at Gold Cup time. Here's the results of Heat 3B. Circus Circus, whole set Miss Mazza. The rest of the field either didn't finish or didn't start. Chip won to go for the gold. Well, at least we're in the final. That's uh, pretty good considering what kind of a rough day we've had. For a man who just won a race, you don't have a very big smile on your face. Uh, you got problems to solve? We got problems to solve, and you know we came here to win the Gold Cup, not to win elimination heats. And uh, I'm just glad we're in the, the final, and that I'll get to defend my my eighth Gold Cup, and uh, I'll live with whatever the result is. Over 100,000 people gathered here at Mission Bay, San Diego, California, to witness what has got to be the premier race. Here's Mark Spencer to tell you more about it. It's the most prestigious prize in all of powerboat racing. From Long Island, New York to San Diego, California, they've been chasing after it for 85 years. It's called the Gold Cup. The first Gold Cup winner was the Standard in 1904. The boat measured 59 feet and had a top speed of 23 miles an hour. The legendary Gar Wood won the 1920 and 21 races in Miss America. Wood was the first driver to average over 70 miles an hour, a record that stood for more than 20 years. The first boat to win three consecutive cups was George Rice's El Legarto in 1933, 34, and 35. Famed band leader Guy Lombardo's Tempo 6 won the 1946 race, the first ever victory for a three-point hydroplane. The Miss Peps 5 was the first Allison-powered boat to win the Gold Cup in 1947. Driven by Danny Foster, the boat was sponsored by the Pepsi Bottling Company, but a ban on commercial sponsorships made it impossible for them to use their exact name. Slow Motion 4 with Ted Jones at the wheel won in 1950, 52, and 53. The boat was the sport's first prop rider, an innovation that revolutionized unlimited hydroplane racing and accounts for the boat's huge rooster tails. Bill Muncy won an unprecedented eight Gold Cups during his career. His first was in the Miss Thriftway in 1956. Back in those days, the event was a 90-mile race. The Green Dragon, Miss Bardall. The team won in 1963, 64, and 65. The boat was the first to win three consecutive races since El Lagarto. Bernie Little's Miss Budweiser team has snared five Gold Cups. The first was right here on Mission Bay in 1969 with Bell Starrett at the helm. And in the 80s, the Gold Cup has virtually been the exclusive property of Mr. Chip Hanauer. He's won seven straight, and he's looking for number eight. For this stroll down memory lane, we'd like to thank unlimited historian Fred Farley for these exclusive photos from his files. As we look at the Bill Muncie Memorial, greatest driver of all times, it's with great regret that we mention the passing of a pioneer of unlimiteds, Ole Bardal, at the age of 87. The sport will miss him.